This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with more PowerPoint tips to help you make happy hour. This is part three of how to make your presentations awesome, highlighting your point visually. And this is particularly relevant for content heavy decks that are printed and reviewed. You wanna show your audience exactly what your point is so they don't have to waste time trying to figure it out. And I'm just gonna flip through some examples for you. So first off, here's a generic layout with a graph that basically leaves it up to you to figure out what the point of the slide is. So this is exactly what you don't want to do. So to highlight your point, you first want to start with your titles. So you can see here, the point is that we can increase company sales by over 50%, which is based on the results of our MJ marketing campaign, there in our graph, where we increased sales by over 100%. And after you establish your point in your titles, Next, you want to highlight the actual data points that you want people to focus on. So you could do something like this, which helps to clarify and draw people's attention to the point of your slide. And you could also continue to add highlights to your layout. So for example, you could box up the months to further highlight your point, or you could just add a call out. Either way, with just a little bit of formatting, you can take a generic looking layout that's not really useful or meaningful in any way and give your audience something that they can evaluate and discuss. And the reason that highlighting your point is so important is that you could have easily taken this same data set and highlighted a completely different point. So for example, maybe instead of focusing on the up months, you want to focus on the down months. So here you can see that unusual rainfall is washing our sales away. Or again, taking the same data set, maybe your point is this. Sales were growing through May, but since the June election, we've lost over $15 million in sales as consumers have become concerned about the economy. Now, neither of these layouts is right or wrong. It just depends on what your point is, which is why highlighting your point visually is so important. Now, here's another example of something that I see all the time, a layout where everything is highlighted. And here I want to point out that if everything is important, nothing is important. So you're better off not highlighting anything. Now, if this was your slide and you wanted to highlight advantage number four there in the lower right hand corner, you could simply change the color of the title box, which brings your eye to that box or you could dim the font color of all the other boxes, which again, brings advantage number four to the spotlight. And here's one last example. Again, a fairly generic layout with nothing for the audience to really focus on. So if I had to edit this for my colleague, I would first make a point up there in the titles. In this case, I wanna focus on the top three shareholders there on the left and some significant transactions there on the right. And then I would highlight the actual data points themselves, which I again could either do by filling the rows in with a color or simply dimming the font color of all the other text. So remember, to make your presentations awesome, especially your content heavy decks that are printed and reviewed, you wanna highlight your point visually within your layout so that your audience doesn't have to waste time figuring out what your point is. If you're looking for more strategies and tips to help you save time in PowerPoint, make sure to check out our website and subscribe. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training and I'll see you at happy hour.